Clarkson sisters to help me this morning. Come on, Clark sisters, would y'all help me this morning? Y'all feel like help? That's right, that's right. Give her, give, give her right. Come on, come on, come on, Anthony. Come on, come on, Anthony. Come on, give me the love. Come on. Can we all sit? Look at the clock. Look at no, it. <laughs> she, said, she said, watch your mouth. <laughs> come on, Clark, sister. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Y'all put your hands together. How many of you feel like giving God praise this morning? Come on, y'all. Y'all trying to fool me. We can do better than that. Y'all do better than that for the Eagles game. Get into it. Don't even play with it. Come on, come on. Get into it. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. There you go. Get into it. Get into it. Act like it. Act like you love what you're doing.
rapping, I just didn't wait for Thanksgiving to come around. But I don't know about you, but he brought me from a mighty long way. When I was out there on them street corners, when I didn't want to come home at night, when I was drinking and smoking and running the streets and didn't know when I was going to I didn't know what, when, when Wednesday was Thursday or when Thursday was Saturday. But God saw fit to bring me out. And come on, y'all better hear what I'm saying. When he brought me out of the darkness and he brought me out of the fucking mind and he saved my soul. Thank you. Come on, y'all. We needed to get that out. We needed to get that out. We needed to get that out, y'all. Come on. See, that's, that, that is such a true song. That is such a true song. He is the only one we worship. We don't worship our cars, our homes, our bank accounts. We don't worship our loved ones. We don't worship, watch it, we don't worship the gifts. We don't even watch this. We don't even worship this holiday season. Thank God for the holiday season. But we know the real reason for the season. Y'all too quiet. Y'all too. We know the real reason for the season.
Somebody getting it. 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 scripture from him but never really preached from the book of Job so you may have heard me say some things before elder please no this we are this we are I might get Job 
You know when you wipe your glasses? I wiped it with a wet towel. It got smudgier than it was before. <laughs> Let me try with my hand to it. Is everybody there? Yes, sir. Good to see Brother Donnie today. Yes. I said Donnie Logan, not you. <laughs> Look at Logan. I said Brother Donnie Logan raised his hand. So, no, I've gotten for the last two months, right? Honoring God. Yes. Honoring God. We thank God for all the visitors today as well. Yes. Amen. We thank God for you joining us today. And we've been talking about honoring God. And what we're going to do, we, we, we're kind of winding it down, too. I think this week may be the uh, close to the end of this series we may have maybe one more week but I know we're winding it down listen to the word of God I'm probably going to read a few scriptures here okay ready there was a man in the land of Oz or Uz whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil. Now, let's get a quick understanding. That word perfect doesn't mean that he was perfect, squeak, squeaky clean. What God is saying here that he was just, that he was morally clean that he was a man that trusted God, that he was a man that did not get in agreement with anything against God. That's what God is talking about when he's talking about perfection, just like we, you and I. We are not perf perfect in our flesh, but we are perfect in God's eyes because we, all, we believe in Jesus Christ. Come on, we hate evil. That's what he's talking about. Being, he, we hate pride. I don't hear many amens on that. We hate pride. We hate arrogancy. We're not in. That's what God is talking about. He hate arrogancy. He he. We hate having a froward mouth. Mm -hmm. Our heart is perfect towards God. How many of your heart is perfect towards God? That's what God is talking about when He says perfect. He's talking about us having a heart towards God. Just. We believe in justice. We believe in doing what doing what is right. When God talks about being perfect in him, that's what he's talking about. So Job was that type of man that was perfect towards God. Y'all hear that? Okay. He was upright, the scripture says, and one that feared God. That's when God, see, when you fear God and reference God, God looked at us as being perfected in him. Y'all hear me? Not that you're not going to make mistakes. Not that you're not going to fall every now and then. Not that you're going to, uh, uh, um, uh, you might even sin every now and then. But that doesn't mean you're not perfected in God. 
Because being perfected in God is that, here it is, you don't live a lifestyle of sin. You repent and get it right. This must be the holiday crowd. Y'all quiet. Here it is. And then the scripture goes on to say, he was upright and one that feared God and sheweth and eschewed evil. See? See what I'm saying? He eschewed evil. He didn't get in agreement with evil. He didn't get in agreement with anything that was against the will of God, that was against God's word. Y'all hear me? That's, here it is. That should, that's the, should be describing each and every one of us today. We should not get in agreement with anything that is against the will of God. I don't care if it has anything to do with a family member. I don't care if it has anything to do with a loved one. Watch this. I'm going to get real personal. I don't care if it has anything to do with yourself. If you find yourself out of the line and out of the will of God, get it right. Correct it. Y'all hear me? Here it is. Let's read down. And there went, there were Born unto him seven sons, three daughters. His substance also was 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very, and a very great household so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. Somebody say Job had it going on. Just as some of you do. God has blessed you. You don't want for anything. God has prospered you. And you got it going on. You've been blessed and highly favored. Here it is. And his sons went and feasted in their houses. Every one this day. And sent and called for their three sisters. In the, to eat and to drink with them. And it was so that when. The days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Here it is. I just said, here it is. Y'all got to hear the verbiage. He was a perfect man, but notice his speech wasn't perfect. Amen. Amen. Listen, saints. Watch your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honoring God is very important. You can be a, the blessed saint in the world. You can have it going on. You can love God. You can be perfect. But you still have to watch your mouth. Oh, stop, Matt Lock. We still have to watch our mouths. He loved God. He honored God. He feared God. He hated evil. But he, he didn't watch his mouth. He gave his children to God. He honored God with his kids, but notice his speech. Do y'all see this? What are we talking about? Honoring God. Watch this, y'all. Don't get so caught up in your blessings. Don't get so caught up in being blessed and highly favored. Watch this. And you begin to just get willy-nilly and all and forget to honor God with your mouth. Here it is, Proverbs, what, 20 and 18, death and life, watch this, I don't care how blessed you are, I don't care how much you got, I don't care how things are dirty, going well, death and life is still in the power of our tongue. And if you want things to go right in your life, you better continue to talk right. Oh, come on, y'all. I got first lady, the only one to clap for this. Everybody should be clapping. I want my sons to continue to be blessed. I want my siblings to continue to be blessed. I'm going to continue to speak blessings over their life. Do 
y'all hear what I'm saying? So here it is. Notice his tongue. He says, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Uh-oh, here it is. Now, why would you continue perpetual, perpetually speak negative over your family when you already gave, oh, y'all better hear what I'm saying, when you already then gave them to God. Either you trust them or you don't. Man, I'm trying to get out of here. I'm, trying, I'm really trying to get out of here in 15 minutes, but I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> How many of you think it's going to work? <laughs> I'm going to try. Somebody time me. Somebody put the alarm on. Who said they got me? Who said they got me? Everybody? Now watch this. Oh, I'm getting ready to bust y'all up. Who said it? Oh, watch this. Watch this. I'm getting ready to bust them up. Who said it? Those that love the word. <laughs> oh, Debbie, they ain't think I'm ready for them, Dad. They ain't think I'm ready. Those who love the word, they done put the handkerchief there. They done put the handkerchief here, and they ready to eat. Uh-oh. I ain't going to mess with y'all. I ain't going to get them. I ain't going to get them. See, when you love the word, you ain't just ready for no little snack. Yeah, yeah. Come on, y'all. You ain't ready for the little, the, 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 you know, I love these crackers, the little cheese bits. Eat yeah. the little cheese bits. You know what I mean, Brother Shell? Eat the little cheese bits. The little, little stuff. Man, when you, when you, when you really a cracker lover, oh, whoa. Would that be on the go? Yeah. Not that type of thing. Cheese crackers. Woo! Because you know folk can take that and rub with that. Oh my God. Let me get back to the scripture. Woo! Here it is. So he he he, he did this continually. Cheese crackers, y'all. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them. <laughs> Y'all, I don't care how many times you come to church. How I many you know the devil come to? Yeah. Mm, come on. Come on. Y'all be in here today having a glorious time. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Yes. But he in here somewhere. Mm. Watch this. Trying to affect your mind yes. of what's being said. Watch this. He's trying to make you think. Watch this. I know what I'm talking about. He's trying to make you think. Watch this. Has to pick it on you. Just you. When there's over 30 something, maybe 40 something people in here. But he's trying to make you think, Pastor picking on you. But that's never the case. God, when God talks from his word, he's talking to every one of us. But here it is. What he's saying to one, he's saying to all. But what he's saying to one, it just may be fit the one person. Right. And it may not be for this person. But the next person, it may be for that person. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? So never take it that what the pastor is saying personally. Like it's just for you. Or like he's thrown off on you. Because here it is. Whatever I'm saying, it got to hit me first. Well, if I could just be honest in here and y'all can hear this thing. It's never to attack not 
one single person. Why? Because if I'm attacking you, I'm attacking me first. Do you think Paul, God had to deal with Paul in his flesh first before Paul can share with the body? Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present to themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence cometh thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to, to and fro to the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? There is none like him in the earth. A perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Do if Job fear God? Does he honor God for naught? Hast thou not hast thou hast not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hand. And his substance is increased in the land. But, but put forth thy hand now and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. How foolish is that devil? And because he, you see, that I don't care what you go through, saints. Never curse God. Amen. Never blame God. Yes. Never think that God is not for you. Never come on, never, never think. I don't care if you lose a loved one. I don't care if you lose a finance. I don't care if you lose your home. I don't care what it is. Never blame God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? He said, But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he had, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said, This is what I like with God. God trusts us, y'all. Uh oh, y'all ain't hear what I just said. God trusts us, y'all. He said, And the Lord said unto uh, Satan, Behold, all that he had in is in thy power. Only unto him himself put not forth thy hand. So Satan went forth from that place, presence of the Lord. This is the last verse. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. I'm going to stop right there. 13. Just, just for a few minutes. I'm just going to share this. Just a few quick points. Not coming from that same angle that we hear a lot of times about uh, um, how Job, you know, lost everything. Because we see in the story, if you read the story, you see that he lost everything. But in this passage of scripture, we see that Job, he was a man of God and he was very rich. And it was a man who loved God with all of his heart. However, Satan told, took everything away from him. We see that, including his worldly possessions, his children, and his health. Even Job's friends accused him of disobeying God. Satan thought Job would curse God when he lost everything. But Job decided, here it is, Job decided to continue honoring God instead. Even though Job was tested, even Job was, even though Job was tried, he made a conscious decision. Not that he wasn't tested. Not that he didn't fall short sometime. Not that he didn't uh, 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 go through uh, 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 bad situations. And he, I mean, he went through hell. Come on, I didn't cuss. Hell is in the Bible. He went through. Y'all to teach the kids that it, it's in the Bible. He went through hell, but he made a conscious decision. To stay with God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? You may go through some things. You may be tried. You may be tested. Come on, saints. We may be at our wit's end on occasion. We've been there, right? We have been through some situations. We have been through some fires and some floods. But never give up. Somebody say, I'm not giving up. I'm not quitting. I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm not even going to wave the white flag, but I'm going to be steady. I'm going to stand, and I'm going to be steadfast. I'm going to be unmovable. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to bow. I'm not going to bend. I'm not going to break, but I'm going to stand. Why? Because 
Because when we stand, we honor God. When we walk in love, we honor God. Come on, when we continue to walk by faith, we honor God. When we continue to walk in love, we honor God. Mm -mm -mm. I'm almost finished. Stay with me. He continued to honor God, y'all. And here it is, what I love about it. Because he honored God. God did something very special in Job's life. Yes. Do y'all remember the story? Yes. Because he was obedient to God. Yes. This is what he did. This is what God did. Go to Job 42. Go to Job 42. I told y'all I wasn't going to deal with the other stuff. I'm just going to get to the nitty gritty. Go to Job 42. Oh man, is everybody all right? Ooh, my God. Is it hot in here? Is it me? Deep. Turn one of them heaters off for me, deep. Good God Almighty. I used to ask him back in the day, is it hot in here? Is the Holy Ghost? Ooh. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, we almost done, y'all. We almost done. I just want you to see this. Job 42. Hallelujah. Everybody all right? Okay, amen. Job 42. Y'all there? And I said, because he was obedient, although he went through tests and trials and tribulations and anguish and pain and suffering and friends doubted him and friends uh, uh, turned their back on him and he, he lost his kids and he lost his livestock and he lost his money and his wife uh, turned her back on him. All the stuff that he went through. Even, even when he, he watched this, he even fell into a moment of doubt and said, man, I, I, maybe I shouldn't have been, been even born. Remember that? He said, man, man maybe I, he said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. So he was just talking out of his head at that point. Because how many of you know the Lord, ain't, the, the Lord ain't taking away, he ain't taking away. The Lord is a life giver. He ain't taking away. Now he may accept, but he ain't taking away. Y'all hear me? But here it is. All this he went through, he still stayed honorable and honored God. And this is what we've been talking about. See, that's what I'm saying. This, this, this teaching for the last month and a half or two has been powerful about us honoring God and honoring one another. Because when we honor one another, that's a good indication that we honoring God. Amen. Good indication that we learning to honor God. Because watch this, if we can't honor one another and reverence one another, we can't honor God. Because watch this, God is in you just as much as he is in me. And we need to see God in each other. Come on. Y'all hear me? You're just as important to God as I am. And if I can't see that and respect that and honor that and cherish that, you're just, listen, that's why he said, watch this, we have to love our neighbor as I said. Come on. We have to love our neighbor as ourselves. Yes, yes. Here it is. Get ready, clothes. Wow. I have you. I have you out here to Burger King before lunchtime. Y'all should. Y'all should be clapping on that. 
some pastors, Sister Rosine, they, you, you be in church to about 2, 2, 2.30. Right? Come back at 3. For second service. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Y'all ready? Job 42. Musician, y'all can get ready. We get ready. We get ready. Get out of here. Look at Zoe, 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 Zoe. See, I know what I love about Zoe. He love that word. Zoe don't, Zoe don't, Zoe don't even really, really be ready to get back on that base. He be like, Pastor, let's, let's stay with this word for a little while longer. And, and I ain't mad at you. Stay there. We, we, got, a, we got about five more minutes. Five more minutes. We going to get out of here. You good? All right, here it is. 42, the 10th verse. Now through to, I guess I'll read it all, to 17. And remember what I said, because he was obedient, God did some special things for him. Listen to what it says. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. This is key. Check it out. Uh-oh, watch this. This is good. No matter how people treat you. No, <laughs> I heard that. No matter how people perceive you, no matter what they say about you, no matter how they misunderstand you, the scripture said, the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. The, fr the same friends that talked about him. The same friends that misunderstood him. The same friends that told him to turn. Man, you must be crazy. You had to sin. All this stuff came on you, and you're going to still serve the same God? Joel said, I'm going to serve him because he loved me. I'm going to serve him because he created me. I'm going to serve him because he's a God that will not change. Because he made me. He created me. He knows all about me. So saints continue to pray. That's why prayer is so important in New, New Horizon Baptist Church. I ain't going to stop praying for you because you cuss me out. The devil is a lie. I ain't going to stop praying for you because you stabbed me in the back. The devil is a lie. Listen, listen. I heard somebody say the other day on the television, oh, Joseph Prince said, that the guy, he, he just had got saved. And he, he, he found out this scripture where the guy said, when you get slapped on the face, you turn another cheek. Now, this guy was a boxer. Joseph Prince told him it was so funny. <laughs> and the guy, he, now he, he just got saved. He don't know a whole lot about scripture. And the guy slapped him on one cheek. He turned the other cheek. The guy slapped him on the other cheek. He turned the other cheek. Five minutes later, the guy who slapped him on the cheek was knocked out cold. The guy said, well, what happened? He said, I, the boxer just got saved. He didn't know the... The scripture said you weren't supposed to hit him back. <laughs> God said, knock him cold, man. Slapping me on my cheek. But here it is. We ain't going to do to others what they do to us. We going to do what the scripture say do. And let God do the rest. Watch what Job did. Watch. Y'all better stay with me now. Stay with me. He prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Brother Francis, that's why we didn't act a fool on our job when folk treated us bad. That's why we didn't go after folk. Because we would have we could have went after some folk. We could have put the paws on some folk when they treated us bad, but we didn't do that. And that's why God blessed us the way he did. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. If you want God to fight for you, if you want God to cover your family, if you want God to make it better like it was before, but better, you better go with God. You better 
said, do it the way the Bible said. You better stand. You better, you better hear what I'm saying. Brother Bradford, since I've been saved, folk are turning back on me. Folk done left some of my closest friends. Them talked about me. Them turning back on me. Watch this. I'm going to share that. I'm going to be 100 with you. My brother has been dead, died over a year ago about with the day is the 11th, the 6th of December over a year. Some of my closest friends, I haven't heard from them yet. Over a year, you can at least send me a text or something say, listen man, we love you. Well, watch this. I still love him. I don't have a problem with him. If I see him today, I talk to him. But this is what I'm saying. I could care less about what they do. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. If I see him today, if you think walking to this church today, I'm going to embrace him. I'm going to love him. It doesn't matter what folk do to me. I'm still going to walk by in love. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? You know why? Because God going to give me double for my trouble. Y'all not hear me? Look what he said. God said, Joe, twice as much as he had before. Then came. Then came. There unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat in his, and did eat bread with him in his house and they must have bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money and every one an earring of gold. How many of you know, I don't care what you lost. I don't care what the devil thought he took from you. But how many of you know God is in the restoration business? God will give back to you what the devil stole from you. I don't care what it was. I'm telling you, God, listen, y'all. It is a season that God is going to show himself strong in the behalf of him whose heart is perfect towards him. I don't care if you lost some friends. I don't care if you lost some money. I don't care if you lost them. I don't care what it is. God said if you serve me. God said if you honor me. God said if you respect me. God said if you eschew evil. God said if you love those who despitefully use you. God said I'm going to restore you. God said I'm going to give to you good measures. Press down. Shake it together. And run it over. I'm going to give to your bosom. God said I'm going to bless you. Because you honor me. Because you reverence me. Because you respect me. Come on, y'all better hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. This is just not for Job. This is just not for Isaiah. This is just not for Martin, Mac, Luther, and John. But this is just this for Johnson. This is just for this for Muse. This is just for this for Mew Morin. This is just for Halton. Come on. This is just this for Walker. This is just for Jones. This is for Matlock. This is just for, come on, this is for everybody. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm not even going to finish the rest of the reading the rest of that. Watch this. You ask the question, why does Job honor God? Why did he honor God? I'm going to give you the answer. Because God's plans are the best plans for us. That's why you honor God. Even if you don't understand what you're going through, honor him anyhow. Because God says in Jeremiah, I know the plans that I have for you. Not to do you any wrong. Not to do you any harm. No matter if you understand what you're going through. God's plan is the best plan that you can have. That's why you honor God. Because his plans is best for you. What Job do? 
for his friends. He prayed for them. He interceded for them. You may ask another question. What good things does Job receive honoring God? Job received restoration. He, rose, he received increase of his possessions. He received more children. How many of you know he he, boy, he he received more children? That's right. The children he lost, God gave him more children. Y'all been hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. He received long life. Amen. And here it is. Why should we honor God? We should honor him. Why should we honor him? Through prayer and through obedience. Because God loves us. He cares for us. His plans for our life is the best plans that we can hope for. Come on. The best plans that we can hope for is the plans that I know we got plans for our life. I know we done wrote them down. We got them all figured out. We got a blueprint it out. And we think we got it all figured out. But how many of you know? God's plan is the ultimate plan. And the plan that he has for us trumps our plan. That's right, that's right, that's right. So I would encourage you today, no matter what you have gone through, no matter what you have been through, no matter what it looks like, Continue honoring God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on, stand on your feet. You've got to praise. Come on. Come on. We can do better than that. Come on. Come on. Woo! Yes, sir.